Hey Zips fans, Chad Welker here for the Zips Digital Network as the Zips baseball team defeats Shawnee State 11-9 off of 12 hits. Leading the way was Connor Reagan with a grand slam in the fourth inning. Here are some comments from the catcher and from head coach Chris Sabo. You know, I think today we really need to understand that we have to pretty much simplify the game. Like we have to swing at the, you know, offensively we have to swing at the good pitches, take the bad, and you know, as you know, on the pitching staff, we just got to fill up the zone. I think that it's going to be a long weekend, you know, against BG if we do not fill up the zone, don't make the routine plays, and just are kind of getting out of our, you know, our hitting approach. We, you know, we really, we, we saw this weekend, you know, we're capable, you know, of playing, you know, high-level baseball. We're capable of winning the MAC, you know, if, you know, we do, what we, you know, we worked on for the past seven months. Um, how does the game like today? Uh, after, I mean, a good, a good uh, split against Eastern last week. How does a game like today? prepare you though for this weekend against Bowling Green? I mean, I, you know, the best way to look at it is, you know, uh, we have to, you know, take nine innings seriously, you know, no matter, you know, every single pitch, you know, you have to win every single pitch of every game to win, you know, no matter if it's, it's you know, Kent, you know, Miami, Ohio, Shawnee State, it does not matter. We have to compete, you know, for nine straight innings every single pitch, you know, if we want to come out on top. The leadership, the, the response, the calling of the game. I know Coach uh, Bay helps a lot with that as well. But just talk about uh, like your your play in the field defensively because it's 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 an important role. Yeah, I mean, the most of, you know most importantly, you know, I have to be a leader. You know, I have to you know show a positive presence. You know, every single game. Um, you know, you know, communication with you know, you know, certain plays or you know what we're doing or you know what the situation is. You know, I have to be, but you know, I just have to be, you know, a, you know, a positive presence behind, you know, behind the dish. You know, if I want, you know, all of our arms to be confident in me, you know, every single game. Well, it was obviously from a fan's viewpoint, it was kind of a terrible game. It was poorly played by both squads, especially defensively and pitching wise. A lot of walks, a lot of misplayed balls defensively. A couple of big hits. I mean, some home runs, and which was surprising since the wind was blowing in. Uh, we're, we're thankful we won the game, uh, but it was sort of a setback for us. We, I mean, we got to keep improving if we're actually going to be able to compete in the, against MAC teams. If we play like this against uh, 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 Bowling Green this weekend, we're going to have a long weekend. Uh, bright spot, uh, Connor Reagan uh, just continually seems to find uh, his hitting. Uh, just talk a little bit about his play and his leadership out there on the field. Yeah, he's doing a good job. He's he's having he has a consistent approach. Uh, doesn't try to doesn't try to do too much. Stays within himself. Tries to hit strikes. That's what we preach. Be a tough out. And uh, he's been cons consistent so far through our 11 games. He's done a good job, and uh, he'll he'll stay in there as long as he keeps doing what he's doing. He's catching a good game also. And then uh, lastly, you do have Bowling Green uh, coming up this weekend. Just a little uh, small preview of this four-game series. Well, it's a Mac. It's a Mac series, so it's obviously very important. Uh, they're all good. All these teams are good. And I don't care who you are. We're going to come to play. Uh, hopefully, we uh, put this game behind us, and uh, we get our mind a little bit on straight uh, for the weekend. And uh, like I said, we're going to have to play better than we did today. Otherwise, it's going to be long. But uh, I'm confident these guys will bounce back. We'll have a good practice tomorrow, and then uh, play that 3 o'clock game on Friday. Thanks, Coach. The Zips will be back in action this weekend at Skeels Field as they take on Bowling Green in the second weekend of Mid-American Conference play. Game one is Friday at 3 p.m. You can catch that on the Zips Digital Network. Head over to GoZips.com. Click the tab that says Zips Digital Network. I'm Chad Welker for the Zips Digital Network. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, Go Zips!